What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range today, as you can see back behind me. Got a bunch of interesting jelly tests planned for today. Very nice weather out here. The wind's blowing pretty strong, but it's perfect temperature, so we can't ask for better weather to get some nice testing done. And we're going to start it out today with a 380 versus 32 ACP test. So we got the jelly contraption set up, ready to roll with the chrono and two freshly melted blocks of gel. No test done in these yet at all, so we got plenty of room. We'll see a good picture of what goes on with this one. As y'all can see, we are including the heavy clothing barrier with this one with the layer of denim the layer of fleece and then two layers of a cotton t-shirt material so what we're checking out here today no surprise is a couple of underwood rounds now i've tested both of these separately but never against each other and i've had quite a few requests lately for me to test the 380 against the 32 side by side just to get a good comparison against each other so we got the 380 acp here now we got the plus p versions of both of these now th this is totally up to you if you want to run standard if you want to run plus p you do your thing but as far as i'm concerned i'm personally running plus p from both of the tools that we're checking out here today so anyway like i said we got our 380 here now this is a 68 grain extreme defender projectile here everybody's familiar with these things very very nice performance pretty much always out of these extreme defenders they're very consistent you always know what you're going to get they don't care anything about this cloth barrier so they put up some really really impressive stuff lately and then of course we're going with the same thing for the 32 acp the 32 acp P plus P again, 55 grain extreme defender. So a lighter projectile here and obviously much smaller cartridge. Uh, the velocity on these is saying 1,050. Now, when I tested these before, I believe we got right under that, right over 1,000, but a little bit under that. And then on this 380, it's saying 1,400. And honestly, I can't really remember what we got out of those, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty close to that. And then the tools we're going to run them out of today are a couple little guys here. You can call them uh, pocket guns, mouse guns, whatever you want to call them, but little shorties here. So we got the LCP Max for our 380. Now they're saying this is a 2.8 inch barrel. And then for our 32, we got the Beretta 3032 Tomcat. And this they're saying is a 2.9 inch barrel. So virtually the same barrel size. So should be a really good comparison here. Now, right off the bat, there's no question ballistically this 380 is going to outperform the 32. It's just math. Math don't lie. It's got more energy with the bigger projectile, the higher velocity. So the 380 is absolutely going to win out. So this is really more than a versus just to compare them against each other and see how much you are lacking and plus i got to get a 380 guys a win every now and then so let me get over here and get this stuff set up and let's see what these things can do all right let's see what kind of speeds we can get from these things y'all and we'll do a five round average from each one we'll start with the 380 first from the uh, lcp max here these things sometimes are a little tricky these small copper projectiles i've had to sometimes color them with a sharpie to get them to read but maybe we'll have some good luck here the lighting's not too terrible but let's see what we get We got 1,300, and those of y'all was probably yelling at me, where's your ears, where's your ears? I forgot my ears, let me go grab them. All right, y'all, let's try that again. Y'all probably noticed it caught me off guard there. I didn't realize what had happened at first. I knew it was something, something wasn't quite like usual, but let's get the rest of these four rounds through it. So 1,300 so far, so not too bad. 1,207. 1276, 1271, and 1279 so definitely not the 1400 but i really didn't expect it let's check the average out all right so our five round average from those 380s is 1266 feet per second so definitely not that 1400 on the box and it's really a shame that we don't reach that because this is the most common size 380 that's just a fact that's just how it is i personally don't care for it but that is the way it is so you really like to see that 1400 because if not you're really giving up that big benefit from a plus p round or a or a light fast round Round like that now that's still not terrible so let me get this reset and let's check out what the tomcat can do all right let's check out this little tomcat i got four in the mag and one there in the tilt barrel i really really like these little tilt barrels on these things so you got a double single action on it of course you got to take your safety off first and we'll get five rounds on this remember the box on this one is saying a thousand fifty like i said i think last time we got right under that right over a thousand 1,082, 1,043, 1,069, 1,024, 
and 1,057. So those are kind of all over the place, but we had some pretty good ones in there. Let's check that average out. All right, y'all, a little bit of a surprise there. The five round average on that was actually 1,055. So it averaged higher than what the box said. Now we had a couple in there that was lower, a couple that was higher, but averaging higher than what the box said, that's pretty good. Now, if you remember out the 380, it was 1,266. So you're talking about 211 feet per second faster from that 380. So that's a significant amount, no doubt about it. Plus it's a heavier projectile. So like I said at the beginning, it's a given that the energy is gonna be more on the 380. That's just simple math, but should be some good performance out of both of these. Let me get this stuff reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's which mouse will get the cheese jelly time. We're gonna put one round from each into the gel. We're gonna start with this 380 first. Let's see what these things can do here. All right, that should have been a good one there. Let me go down there and make sure we all good. All right, really no surprise that that's looking fantastic down there. So let's see what this 32 can do. I believe it's gonna do really well also. I'm gonna try to put this one up above that, but that's probably pressing my luck. I'm just I'm a little worried trying to go beneath it to get into the bottom. Let's see if I can squeeze it up there, y'all. All right, that should have been just right, just a little up and to the right. Let's go down there and check it out and see what we got. All right, let's check out what we got down here, y'all. So if this is a battle of mice right here, that 380 definitely got the cheese. A 380 right there on the bottom, as you can see, comes in very, very nice wound channel and disruption here. Carries on through this block here, right at the edge of this first block. I mean, it might be a quarter of an inch away from that first block. So fantastic performance out of this thing. Now the projectile is sitting backwards, so that probably contributed some to this, or it may have turned at the end, who knows? But either way, that's some really nice performance there and then on the top here of course is your 32 as you can see i don't even think it has to be said there's a huge difference right there in the disruption in the wound channel now that being said nothing bad at all that's really good performance to be such a small caliber carries on through this gel it looks like this one stopped about an inch and a half or so short of that 380 but still really nice penetration there and it looks like it's sitting forward so no tumbling out of that one so let's see what we did actually get here on our penetration on that 380 yeah like i said it's sitting there at 15 and three quarters inches as far as the uh, forward momentum now rebound a little bit but 15 and three quarters on that 380 and then on the 32 here you got 14 and a half so really nice penetration out of both of these i think you probably had a pretty good picture but here's a little bit closer view again on the top 32 on the bottom 380 just fantastic disruption on that 380 32 really good too but that 380 is just in a whole another world there i mean fantastic on that 380 all right, let's check out these projectiles, y'all. So right here, of course, the 380, right here, the 32. You can tell definite size difference. Just look how little that little 32 is. Even the flutes are real shrunk down. A lot less surface area, even on the cross section out there at the nose. And then on the back here, that 380 is actually hollow like we've seen a lot of them. This 32, I'm assuming, is solid all the way through. Now, of course, it goes without saying, no deformation, no expansion on it. A little bit of rounded corners there on that 380. I can tell just a little bit. They don't feel quite as sharp, but that's usually about all you'll see out of these things unless you hit something hard. So really, really nice looking projectiles here. So let's get some weights on them real quick. Obviously, there's not going to be any loss, any kind of difference we're going to see is going to be in manufacturing. So this 380, it started at 68 or that's what the box said. And it's at exactly 68.0. This 32 is supposed to be 55 and it is exactly 55.0. So these things are right on the money now as far as the sizes of course no expansion but we'll get a few little measurements anyway the base size there on your 380 we got 354 355 on the length of it 510 on your 32 the base on it looks like 311 and 311 and then the length on this one you're looking at 416 
So there you have it, y'all, the Underwood Extreme Defenders in 380 and 32. Not really a versus, like I said at the beginning of this, really more of a how much are you leaving on the table using 32 over 380? Because again, it's just a given. It's ballistically, the 380 is definitely superior than the 32. Like I said, math don't lie, numbers don't lie. It just is what it is. You're giving up a quite a bit of an energy. Now, as far as performance in the jail, they both would do what you needed to be done if you put these things in the right place no doubt about it but it ain't no question you are giving up some performance and some edge if you go with a 32 over the 380. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there for what I think was a really good test to start out the day with. Now, if y'all watch my channel much at all, you know how I feel about 380 and these smaller calibers like this, but I can still give credit where credit's due, and this stuff did fantastic out here today. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Those y'all that carry 380 or 32, what kind of rounds do you carry? Do you use these extreme defenders? If you don't, after seeing the performance out of these things multiple times, do you think that might be the way to go in these smaller calibers? Let me know you thoughts down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, take a second if you would and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got your notifications on so you don't miss anything good that I upload. Take a second if you would and check out those affiliate links in the video description. If you shop through Amazon, hit up my storefront link first. You'll go right through Amazon just like normal from there. Doesn't cost you anything extra and anything you buy after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really do appreciate that. Same deal with those axle links. The hot weather is going to be creeping up on us before you know it. Don't get caught with them old sweaty swamp ears because you're having to use earmuffs take a look at those gs extreme earbuds and you can save a lot of money hitting those links up instead of going straight to their site as always i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel i got a lot more good stuff planned for today and tons more headed y'all's way so be on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon